this week on your mom's house. Would you rather fuck your sister? Hold on. He sounds like Squidward. He's like, well, he said he was clean, and then all of a sudden there was just a waterfall of diarrhea. How, what's the path like for somebody that goes, I want to pursue opera? You know, like, how do you... Usually you say you're gay, and then it happens. And then it happens. Um, <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Sattva Mattress Company, my absolute favorite mattress. I sleep on one every night. I'm on the Solaire. It vibrates, it lights up, it moves up, it moves down. It's really the best. We've also uh, slept on the Lumen Leaf and the Luxury Firm. We all we started buying uh, these mattresses a decade ago when we were just broke as a joke, but wanted luxury and comfort and Sattva delivers. And boy, do they, they do in-house setup. It's so easy. They even take away your old mattress for a nominal fee, 90 day in-home trial. If you don't like it, send it right back. But I doubt that because they're just so comfortable. They're made right here in the US of A, 100% organic cotton and really an all around great product. Right now, go to Sattva.com slash the shit for $200 off your next Sattva purchase. Again, here we go. Sattva.com slash the shit for $200 off your next Sattva purchase. (laughs) That's when you're in a good mood. Yeah. You start that way. Yeah, that's true. Pain. Pain is in a good mood. Uh, What else is a, you know, I'm in a really good mood. If uh, there's black people yelling. Hey, I was about to do that. Oh, sorry. That's in our private life too, by the way. Yeah. You'll watch clips of like people fighting. Oh, ass nigga! Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. how I know you're really in your zone. Yeah. When I wake up and I hear you, you're in the bathroom taking a shit, and you're watching people fighting, but specifically black people yelling. Yeah. How do you know when Ain't I'm no in a? Out though, man. How do you know when I'm in a good mood? <sighs> um, what do you, you observe about me? <laughs> you're right. Yeah, that one caught me off guard. I almost spit up my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know that when you're when you're jamming, um, like when you have your certain music on, that you're having yeah. a good day. You're in a which, good mood. Which music? Would that uh, be? Like your gay shit that you like. Yeah. Um, you know, like your goth gay shit. Yeah. Like I hear like sad shit. I'm like, oh, she's in a good mood. You know? Yeah. 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 And usually it's like a Bauhaus day. You know, I'm really in the zone. Yeah. Yeah. We're running the industry now. We're running the industry now. Yeah. The cure, yeah. Yeah, I can hear cure. it. And I'm like, oh, and I, and then sometimes I see you, and you're like, oh, nah, 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 nah. you know, I, you're, you're always in a good mood when that when you hear that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Well, I have lowered my Lexapro dose, so I'm a little nervous, but I think I'm okay. Yeah. Well, I'd like to feel my genitals again, and Lexapro kind of deadens that a bit. <laughs> yeah. I just think it's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where is? I'm looking for a black drop here. <laughs> yeah. Which one are you looking for, Chief? Uh, I know where they're all at. <laughs> I'm looking for like, uh, cause I ain't going out like that. I'm know? looking for a going black out like drop. That, that's yeah. gonna be in black men. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I'm looking for it though. Hold on. You yeah. guys have to put this on the gram so people can see, cause yeah. it's genius how you've laid this out. And then there's photographs of people too mm-hmm. by cool guys. Mm-hmm. It's pretty amazing. Hold on. Do you want me to send any the f- out there? No, the no, no, photographs no. are what really <laughs> get me. It. Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay. Going out like that. Yeah. There you go. You That's what I hear now? in my head. Yeah. Um, for the when I picture the basketball game that um, Eni and Ryan play, like I just in my head that's Eni's inner dialogue. Is it Eni? Yeah. Do you oh, think yeah. black thoughts like that shouting black <laughs> thoughts? <laughs> Bro, that's that's all I'm going to be saying. Like, listen, I tried to keep it quiet for your motherfucking match because, yeah. you know, we were trying to record and I wasn't trying to be loud and make it about me, you know what I'm saying? But this is my game, bro. I'm going to be talking non-stop yeah. non-stop shit. i can't wait now do you prep phrases in your head or you're just gonna improv dude i just want a reel of any shit talking like can we edit together like oh, like oh a, we will like a like mic a- helmet <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be oh, mic'd yeah. up too i'm gonna be on the sidelines you're gonna talk some shit i'm coaching him up call me oh damn yeah dude. yeah i can't I wait i still man okay so i still am confused why <laughs> why would you be coaching me though? Shouldn't you be coaching Ryan, you know what I'm saying? No. Why? Because cuz Ryan's YMH Studios. So, so are, you. are you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm also, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I I make myself 
Uh, shit. I don't know. I'm yeah, surprised. Always... I feel like you want me to lose. Is what I'm saying. Is what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't don't give me that face like you don't know. He... I feel like look because wow. and, and here's the reality. I don't think you're crazy for that. It's, it's not like a personal thing. I think I make myself. You know, I make myself a target. You know what I'm saying? I, no. Yeah, I make my people don't want me to win. Eddie, I we so all much. want you. To, we all want you to win. Yo, if cap report starting right now. Oh, yeah. Everybody <laughs> out here with these motherfucking lies talking about how you want me to win. Nah, I get it. Any, I'm, I say we already sh- even discussed <laughs> that I was your coach that game, and why would I want you to lose? Because I make myself. But I didn't. I I have not been like I want you to like. Why would I want? Why would I want you to lose? I'm just saying. I, I usually, man, I be talking so much shit. You know what I'm saying? I make yeah. it. I make it like you. But who, I I like people wanting me to lose. But so I don't want you to lose. Well, that's oh, very interesting. I know what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like when I was he doing stand up, yeah. and I hate. And when people started to like it, I got very fucking weird because I'm used to being in opposition. I yeah. want the fight, and when people aren't yeah. fighting you, you're like, "Wait, what's my? What am I? You this guys is like such me?" Such a fascinating psychological profile. Bro, of this guy. I'm, I understand it. I, mean, I get it. I'm motherfucker. I'm a clown, man. I've been clown. I've voted class clown in motherfucker seventh grade. I ain't changed since. I've, it's always been me. So it's like. But that's what you do. You laugh at a clown, right? You you want to see a clown kind of, I don't know, get fucked up. Yeah, so, but I mean, like, look, I celebrate your victories. And hmm. I the only thing that I find funny about, like, arm wrestling and shit is, <laughs> is your blind confidence. Your blind confidence is funny. I mean, it is funny, you know? And then sometimes you come through. Bert's kind of the same way. He's the same type of personality. He has crazy confidence on things. Sometimes he surprises you and you're going, God damn, that was impressive. And sometimes he falls flat on his face. They both elicit a reaction. Like, yes. Like, I'm going to laugh when he falls, but I'm also going to applaud when he, when he perseveres and, and, like, and, and comes through. So the same thing goes for you. Like, I knew you were going to lose arm wrestling and it was funny. <laughs> And the, and like you didn't you lose, you know what I mean? Like it was like yeah, was, he like threw me to the ground. It was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, but it was hilarious because you were like, I can't lose shit. <laughs> so like it's funny, you know? You don't get how that's funny to people. That's funny. no, I, I, bro. Of course I get so, it. So but I do it on but I'm not, yeah, it's intentional. But like I don't I don't see why you are like why do you want like I think you want me to lose. I don't want you to lose the basketball game. I want you to win the game. I I guess what I'm trying to say is that's not my intention. Like. I What's like not your people, intention? I like people wanting me to lose, but I don't, I don't know where want it you comes to lose. from. I know it's it's very odd that you don't. I, no, because I like figured most people. Here's would. why I don't want you to lose. You are the underdog. Mm. That's why I don't want you to lose. You are the underdog. Playing basketball is a skill set, and if you really haven't played the way you say you haven't played, and he really has played the way he says he has played, then the skill set is not one you can make up in a month. So he is just by the nature of how these things go the more skilled player regardless of his age or health he is more he's he's shot a basketball thousands of more times than you mm-hmm. so he's by by just by default he's the favored player so you are the underdog and that's why i'm like i want to help in any way i can to you know for you to win i want you to win hmm. and you always bet on the underdog yeah man well you're not going to bet on anything so you have a problem and that's yeah. a whole other conversation why are you talking about bets? Period. Are you even going to this? Stop. Yeah. You're going to the game? I got to get eyes on it. Okay. Okay. You're not taking any action. With anyone at the office? No, I will not take any or action. Or anyone else. Or I'll call your sponsor. My, I have your sponsor. I have Jake's number right here. I'll call him right now. Are you checking in with Jake? Like you're supposed to? Yeah, whenever there's a problem, but there hasn't been any problems in a while. Except for like that relapse or two. But like other than, like he knows. What do you uh, mean the relapse, relapse or two? Yeah. I might have had something to do with that. You're fucking contributing I, to this? I apologize. Well, you know, we're just kindred spirits. There was, I mean, <sighs> but like, I'm not doing the, the, the classical gambling anymore. What's not, okay, what's what's non-classical gambling? Like, I'm not doing cards or roulette. Or what something. are you doing? So, Heather had a party. Uh, it was her birthday. And she has a dark backyard. <laughs> And she has a dark backyard. What the kind of story is this? Well, it, it's it's gonna come. It's gonna make sense. And then the bathroom was taken, and so then Zolo stumbles out into the backyard. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna go piss in the backyard." And then Which Heather loved, I'm sure. And then I saw how dark the backyard was. I was like, "Ooh, what's the over under that he trips on the way back?" 
And then Annie was just like, I got 20 bucks. What's the over <laughs> under? And then did he trip? <laughs> so dumb. He didn't trip, so I lost. I so, okay, yeah, good. So you're losing money. Um, what's, and by the way, how, so what's stupid. going on with Heather? I mean, she presents all sweet and she's like, guys that can't get hard are gay. I know. Go piss in my backyard. Like, what is going on with this it's, woman? It's great because she does present as like a holly hobby. Yeah. I crochet and knit on the weekends. I'm and like, now she's lady? like, <laughs> ED guys are gay. Yeah. 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 It's great. I, I'm here for it. But of Nadav, course you are. Nadav, as punishment. No, 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 yep. no, 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 no. Yep. You get the Jew bras. Not only that, you also get the opening clip. Here <laughs> you go. The fact that I walk yeah. and say, hey, I'm going to have to Jew you down is not an ethnic slur. That has <laughs> nothing to do. I'm not referring. Okay. I'm not referring to the Jewish community. community. No. Okay. I use that term yeah. as an adjective, <laughs> as a descriptive word of bargaining them down. We get the it. The person I said it to knew it. it. I think you... <laughs> Or anyone that's yeah. watching that knows that. So yes, that is not an ethnic slur. Perfectly logical. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone love into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Today. Yeah, my mom, you down. <laughs> you down. Mm. So I have a funny question to ask you guys. <laughs> no, no, no! You should not play this. One. <laughs> Is it, uh, you don't want to play this. One. That's G the one with down. the red circle don't on play it. This one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a red circle on that one. Well, yeah, it gets to a funnier place. I know. <laughs> I mean, she's I not. Know. She's not licking an ice cream cone. Right <laughs> so I have a funny question. <laughs> I don't think she knows what funny means. Yeah, oh, really silly. Because she question. asked something else, very yeah. serious. Um, so, how do you feel about this as a Jewish man? Jew you down. Um, <laughs> I mean, I would say he is using the term correctly. Jew like, you down is not an ethnic slur. It is. <laughs> it, it, I can't confirm it oh, is. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. He's saying it, meaning yeah. I'm bargaining with you. Right. He was saying it as an adjective. Yes. But he wasn't. He was using it as a verb. <laughs> it's a verb, yeah. It's a verb. Yeah. Well, it's he's a not verb. Great. He's not a fucking English professor. Give him a break. Yeah. I mean, I say the same things just with the K word instead of the J word. Jesus but Christ, Do you say man. that? You, yeah, that's not how the saying goes, though. Yeah? Well, no, we go half. We, like, oh, because when a J tries to J another J, it's an HK. It's you have. I'm K. sorry. I don't Jesus. Know. What? what? Yeah, you taught me this when I first started okay. working here. Repeat on por favor. Yes. Yeah, Slow now tell me for this the again. dummies. Yeah. So when a J tries to J another J, it's kind of <laughs> like fractions, and you have to like they kind of cancel each other out like that. <laughs> so you end up half. Can each you give other. me like? <laughs> <laughs> can you give me a real world example of what you're talking about? Yeah, let's say I go into B and H photo, which uh -huh. is run by Jays. Okay. And I go, hey, excuse me, uh, can I get this roll of Co of Kodak film? Mm -hmm. And they go, yeah, that's that's fifteen dollars. And I go, oh, I mean, I I, I only have ten dollars in my pocket. And he goes, oh, okay, for sure, it's twenty dollars. Oh, uh, so because you tried to bargain? Yeah, that's you're, that's gonna be a huge mistake against another J. So now he raises the price? Right. So the, it's the, the canceling out actually intensifies and simplifies the fraction where it's like it's the purest wow. form. This is wild. I don't understand. I don't know this, this is one so either. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's next level. Not a lot of people was know this, about it. <laughs> <laughs> was this kind of what happened when we had the soundproof quote? Do you remember the oh, original yeah. soundproof quote? The Israeli yeah, I guy. was trying to prevent an HK from happening. Yeah. <laughs> and I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> For people that don't know, we had the last studio soundproofed. <laughs> and I, I go, I told him that I'm like, hey, you're in charge. Get this, like, get quotes. So I show up later. I'm like, how'd it go? And he goes, I don't think so. And I go, why? He goes, fucking one of my tribe showed up. And I go, look, we just need it. He goes, I don't, I think we should just hire whoever else we get. And I'm like, what's the quote? And the quote was like, 
you know, like $13,000 or something, you know, it was a lot of money. But I was like, well, I think we might have to spend that to do this correctly. So I was like, call him tomorrow and like, tell him like, let's, let's lock this in. And he's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, we need to do this. So I'm like, did you call him? He goes, yeah. And he said, he said it was 16. <gasps> I go, I thought you said it was 13 yesterday. And he goes, yeah, I know with how this goes. So then I'm like, we'll call him back. He called him back and he goes, yeah, he said it's 20 now. No. Because he found that? out because you were And then I educated him back and I'm like, actually, it's fucking zero now. We'll go to someone else. <laughs> and then what did he do? Did he come down? He goes, no, please. I don't need, please let me. Yeah. And that was then, wild. Yeah. No, exactly. And it played out exactly how I told you it was going to. He drove up in the Tesla. I will say this. You I'm did like, this call is bad it. fucking news. You so, did call so, it. But he, he would go up in price because you're a J as well? There's, there's, so, look, it's, there's layers to it. Yeah, it's all meta. Like, there's quantum physics happening in here where it's mm. just particles. If you're observing it, it's different. Like, it's, <laughs> okay. it's, it, it's, there's all gotcha. sorts of variables, and they were all present when we tried to get the quote. Uh, okay. This is getting so, yeah, let's, so uh, gay. Yeah. It's so uh, gay. You know, let's, let's switch it to this. I think this might yeah. make you feel better. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Okay. Whether men can't find the right brand or simply lack knowledge and understanding of it, skincare is something that requires attention. Luckily, men's skincare has never been easier with Caldera Lab. Clinically proven to reduce wrinkles, fine lines, and signs of aging, Caldera Lab is the leader in men's skincare and is here to save the day. Use our exclusive code MOM at calderalab.com to enjoy 20% off their best products. You know what's so funny is that Tom received the Caldera products, and it has been adorable watching him take care of his skin for the first time in his life. He loves it. It's the secret. Once they get the right tools, they're going to get into it. Caldera Lab creates high-performance men's skincare products, and the regimen leads off their product lineup, which includes the Clean Slate, the Base Layer, and the Good. The Clean Slate Cleanser starts and ends your day. The Base Layer is your daily moisturizer. The Good is your go-to before-bed multifunctional serum that helps your skin look tighter and smoother. Get 20% off with our code MOM at calderalab.com. That's 20% off at calderalab.com by using code MOM. Take your health to the next level in skincare with Caldera Lab. If you have an upcoming summer trip abroad, my go-to travel hack is Babbel. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or embarking on your first adventure, communication is key to fully experiencing a new culture. That's where Babbel comes in. Babbel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and uh, easy bite-sized language lessons, there's still time to learn a new language before you reach your destination. I love Babbel. It's so easy. The lessons are in just little short increments of time and they build and it really is the fastest way to pick up a new language. With Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson so you can start having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Babbel's expertly crafted lessons are built around real life. You learn how to have practical conversations about travel, relationships, business, and more. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash mom. That's babbel.com slash mom for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. What's your deepest, darkest secret? Like a secret you never told nobody. Like, what's your deepest, darkest secret? I fucked my sister. Your blood sister? What I did, because my oldest sister, where she fucked me because I was jacking my dick and she saw me jacking my dick and you don't need jacking Come on, I, I get some pussy. And we were both drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I wasn't expecting that. Nobody he just was. spit that on the street Nobody corner. Nobody was, yeah. It's like, what'd you have for lunch today? He just told you that? Yeah. I fucked my sister. Yeah. Jesus. Pretty wild. Which one of your sisters would you if you had oh to? Oh, my God. All right, so. God. You've got two. You have to choose. There's Shut a gun up. to your kid's head. Which one Shut are you fucking? up. God. <laughs> fucking A, man. Where is this when I need it? What about, come on, Tom. No. I've got three stepsisters. I'll tell you which one of them I'd eat their box. Just kidding. Oh. None of the above. It is definitely not the same, just so you know. No, of course not. Steps are not. Yeah. Not even. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he fucking said that. Like, no big deal. And so, why would you even, like, you say that on fucking TikTok, you uh, animal? He doesn't know. 
He's like, oh, someone has someone's asking me a question today. Yeah, this is fun. I'm like, yeah, this is wild. This dude. guy's thrilled to be having a conversation. I gotta get into this account. Is this a talk account? I don't know. This is a brilliant them. idea, by the way. I'm gonna start asking strangers. I'm surprised he answered. Yeah. Well, you know what really dude. does? Can I, you know? Can I tell you something about deep dark secrets? Yeah. This is the truth about deep dark secrets and human nature. Human beings want to share their deepest darkest secrets. You know why? Because it releases shame. Yeah, maybe. Shame is when the secret is kept in. And by letting it out. Yeah. What's your deepest darkest secret? I've fucked my sisters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, question. Yeah. Real talk. Mm -hmm. Would you rather fuck your sister? Hold on. Yeah. You're fucking one of your sisters or fuck this guy definitely have a an intense love affair with this man <laughs> for years yeah i do like his chest hair i wonder if he bleaches it blonde well, what about you guys would you ever fuck your moms or make love to this man i have two sisters and a mother and i will be gay for that guy yeah <laughs> yeah there's nothing worse than family fuckings Ugh. i can't even would imagine. you rather fuck your dad never i would rather die i would rather die yeah i would rather die yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. It's so gnarly. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason that yeah. messes you up, you know? Of course. If you do it as a kid. Except for him, he's fine. He's walking around. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's Shirtless. like shirts off. Sun's out today. Feels good. <laughs> he didn't go, he didn't go like this either. He he's just like, yeah. what's that? Yeah. Oh, I fucked my sister. Like he was. <laughs> Play it again. Let, <laughs> yeah. Let's see it. It's like, yeah, he had a hoagie for lunch. He, he had some like, chips. Yeah. What do you want to know? Yeah. So deep is darkest oh, secret like a secret I you never told nobody oh like what's your deepest darkest secret i fucked my sister just yeah. your blood sister what i did because my oldest sister well she fucked me because i was jacking my dick and she saw me jacking my dick and you don't need to come on i, I get some pussy and we were both drunk yeah now let's replay the story the lady uh, the funny thing is that you know that that lady recording is like right now like uh -huh. Huh? <laughs> you can like hear it. It's like she's off camera and she's like, because <laughs> totally. his face changes too. He's like, I fucked my sister. And then <laughs> she's probably like, huh? And he's like, oh, is that a weird story? <laughs> <laughs> so, crazy. so hold on, let's walk through it. He oh, was jacking God. his D. Yeah. His sister came in and was like, you don't need to do that. I'll give it to you. And they yeah. were both drunk. Yeah. And that's a cool I story. wish he would. I really wish he would have said age. What age this happened in, you know? What if it was recently? <laughs> that would have been amazing. She's like, how old were you? He was like, well, let's see. I'm 63. I guess I was 62. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah. It doesn't matter. We're almost uh, dead. God. That is fucking unreal. You know, the interest clips always do stick with me, Tom. He's my son. Yeah. And I'm your mom. Fuck, dude. Yeah. That is gnarly. Um, okay. Well, so, thanks for sharing. That yeah. was cool. Could you play God. that video we were talking about? <gasps> I can't yeah. wait. I've been waiting for this. I'm yeah. so pumped. This is pretty wild. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we this go. is what Caitlyn Jensen looked like before visiting a chiropractor. And this is what she looks like now. The 29-year-old woman made an appointment for the chiropractor for a routine neck adjustment. But instead, when he abruptly snapped her neck, it ruptured four arteries. This caused her to have several strokes and to go into cardiac arrest. In fact, she lost her pulse for a full 10 minutes. She spent weeks in the ICU and now she can no longer walk or talk. She gets her food through a tube in her stomach and uses a letter board to communicate. Caitlin said the chiropractic appointment was going normal, but then she heard this crunching sound. And that's when something that was supposed to help her went wrong. I personally find chiropractors so sketchy. Yeah. I have a friend who's a fitness instructor who swears by them, uh, but I personally feel like all of those rapid motions could really, really hurt you as seen in Caitlin's story. There's like a whole internet rabbit hole that you can go down where chiropractors are just like snake oil salesmen. And a lot of the relief you feel could be the placebo effect. You hear the cracking sound and they say that it's better and then you just believe them. But before you go down that rabbit hole, make sure to follow my account if you thought this story was interesting. <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks. Thanks a lot for that helpful <laughs> ending. Um, so, what you know, the funny thing is, mm -hmm. I mean, it's sad that this happened. I do oh think it's God. fucking crazy because um, we've all seen, I, I was into watching chiropractic videos. I know. I found it um, soothing. 
right? The, to see them like prep the body and then do the adjustment. And, but I have always been like, holy shit, especially when they do spinal and neck, neck stuff, especially. Oh my when life. you see a neck adjustment, you're like, how do you do that it's without so hurting the person? And obviously, you know, there's different levels of training and I'm sure there's people who are really proficient at what they do in that field, but it still is kind of alarming. So Nadav and I actually went to a chiropractor together one time for a, a, a YMH <laughs> right. live. My, my chiropractor, who yeah. I trust, yeah. <laughs> who you trust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Not then anymore. I sent you this video. Um, yeah, because uh, for people that don't know at home, uh, <laughs> me, Tom, and Zolo have a group text where Tom just sends us videos of people dying <laughs> that are not meant for the show because he cool. can't show that on the show. Yeah. And then we try and send stuff back to, uh, I'm not going to say the type of stuff that I send. Uh -huh. But <laughs> um, then out of people dying, Tom all of a sudden sends this chiropractor video that doesn't kind of really fall in line with anything else that he sent. I'm like. What is the stuff I normally send? People dying. Like hit by trains, hit cars. by trains, yeah. uh, <laughs> arms flying off, huge car accidents, machine accidents. Um, it's cool to get from your boss. Yeah, I think this is the only company that that's totally fine. And for the most part, this I'm with last... people, and I start laughing and saying, "Oh my god!" When I get them, and they're like, "What?" I'm like, hey, "Show me. Let me show you what my boss just said." <laughs> and then it just kind of changes the tone of the night <laughs> because yeah, everyone. It's very Ruins, upsetting. You mean? Those videos get passed on to the rest of the office, too. Oh, they do? Show yeah, all I, show them to, I mean, Annie loves them, but, like, Chad really ruins his day, but... It's <laughs> awful. And this is the first one that you sent in a while that's in a completely different lane. And I'm like, you know what? Branching out. Tom, Tom, because Tom just likes... He's not sending these because they're cool. He's sending them because he knows that they upset us. Yeah. Yeah. And so then I saw this chiropractor, where I'm like, oh, cool. Uh, Tom is now specifically trying to upset me. Because he knows that I get chiropractically adjusted like every couple months. Yeah. And so I write, why would you send this to me? And you go, well, don't you get adjusted? <laughs> and I go, yeah. He goes, wouldn't it be crazy if this happened to you? <laughs> I go, why would you, why would you say this? So like, crazy. No, just because it could happen at any moment. Like, you don't know when all of your neck... Uh, veins it's true. Are it's rip. true. That is true, though. You could have a bad day. You could be hung over your car. It's not a cool thought for you, but it is a true. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm no, never going to. No, you do this shit all the time, man. Like, I remember we were on a plane one time. We were on a plane one time, and like, I was nervous on takeoff, and you just saw me gripping the chairs. Yeah. And then on the way back, you just started sending me planes exploding on takeoff. <laughs> so, this is just a thing that you like to do to me specifically. That's not untrue. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got the receipts, yeah, yeah, and true. um, and so then when I asked you like, why would you send it? You're like, oh, it would be so funny if that happened to you, and I asked you <laughs> if this did happen to me, and I was in a wheelchair and couldn't talk, would you guys still keep me on staff? And what did uh -oh. I say? Well, first you were quiet for about an hour. So I was an like, hour, something like that. I was like, I think I got the answer for this. No, <laughs> it wasn't an hour. Okay, let's call hour. it thirty minutes. I think it was. I actually think if you look, it was less than that. I really do. I'll pull. I'll pull it up. Okay. Because it'll be timestamp. Oh no! Yeah, Annie, don't I'll, encourage hey, I'll him. I'll take that action. Okay. Yeah. No. What's the action? Uh, let's I think. It. I think it was less than fifteen minutes that I responded in. So if it was. So if it was under fifteen, what are we talking? Whatever, man. Hundred bucks. Okay. All right. You taking that action? Yeah. Okay. Hundred bucks. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> So you send that video, I say, so cool, so cool for sharing. You say, be crazy if that happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, why would you say that? That's so mean. And you go, because it would be crazy, no? I thought you went regularly. <laughs> and I go, I go uh, every couple uh, months when it gets tweaked. Would you guys keep me on staff out of sympathy? Isn't that time stamped? It's time stamped. Yeah. <laughs> I sent that at 12.03, and you responded at 12.33. Oh, you got it. Okay. 100 <laughs> and you go, for sure. Also, funny to see that every day. Good for morale. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> I wrote, very cool of you. And then you sent a video instead of a text. <laughs> No, uh, I think I remember this. And we'll blow this up, but... Uh, I remember you doing this. I, I just want everyone to notice how when you're verbally saying how paralyzed I'd be, you can't help but smile or laugh. So let's go ahead and press play. 
Yeah, like if you were in a chair, you're like, uh, and you're like, hey, boss, and your jewel fall out, and then you just looked at it, screen, and it spoke for you. I think people would be like, this is good for the team. <laughs> Yeah, you were looking at me when you were recording, uh, and I was yeah. like, that's cool talk. That's the happiest I've seen you in a yeah. long time. Can I tell you something? That's the happiest I was in two weeks when I sent that. I, even when I visited you, when I showed up. You were right life. there, but this was actually the moment that really. <laughs> you know what, Christina, I think we're me? both upset at that uh, sentence. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean. You, you know can what? see how joyful I am right sure, there. Yeah, I know. look at this smile. Full all the teeth showing, which is rare. <laughs> You know what I've noticed so you've been doing to Nadab too? What? <laughs> Is every time you fart, you make eye contact with him. It's so funny. And wink. Yeah. <laughs> you turned away when I winked at you today. <laughs> right. You but looked that, down. But then the fart got to me. I was like, oh, yeah, he did it. Yeah. He did it. So cool, man. I cherish our, you know, I cherish our relationship, Tom. It's yeah. just, it's been such a magical six or seven years working with you guys and it just constantly evolves. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> I hope you don't get paralyzed. I don't want you I don't want that to happen to you. But if it did, it'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Trying so hard over here to not get my feelings hurt. <laughs> you know I care, man. I know you care. I know you care. But you know it's still, it's, I, I know you care, but when you see a smile like this. Yeah, I know. Describing how funny it would be if I was paralyzed, it's just like. I think you're, you're stepping over the most important part. We keep you on the staff. That's true. And a paycheck is And I'd probably have to build a ramp for you to come in and out. Oh. And pay for a caregiver because I don't think I'd be able to drive cars. Handicapped toilet, yeah. blah, blah, blah. There, blah. There'd be a lot of costs that would keep, like, that would be associated with keeping you. And I would pay them just so I could see that face every day. <laughs> Nadab, just so you know, this is how he shows his love. Honestly, like, he says awful things to me, too, and that's how I know he cares. No, I know. Like, I figured through the group chat every time you send me someone's arm coming off, I'm like, oh, he likes me. <laughs> that is true. I don't send that to people I don't like. No. Well, Christina, just make sure that, like, you know, people still, like, talk to me and I interact socially if I, I do won't. end up in the wheelchair and I'm mute and deaf or whatever the fuck happens to me when he snaps my neck. We will, buddy. We'll take care of you. Would he still be our boss? Who? Oh. No, Doc. No, he's no. a vegetable. Okay. No. He's well, just here the as an surrogate ornament. of my caretaker would relay the things that I type into the machine, right? Or I just become the mascot. Yeah, kind of a mascot. a mascot. Just like a morale boost, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We could throw balonies at him. And yeah, yeah, we do throw pranks. Throw balonies. Throw <laughs> stuff at It'd him. Be, it'd be pranks. There'd be pranks. A lot yeah, of pranks. because he can't move. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah. We could hang ornaments on him for the Christmas tree instead of a tree we get in a dog. Yeah. Stuff like that. A mobile Christmas tree is what I would turn into. <laughs> yeah. And then get put in it'd storage for nine months out of the year. It'd be fun. We just like I don't know. Like throw a, throw a bowl of chili on your lap. You yeah. can't even feel it anyway. Yeah, you know? it'd be funny just to see it. Like, oh, do you feel this? No. Yeah. <laughs> There's a word for this. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> whatever happened, by the way, speaking of everything, um, whatever happened to the J-Mobile? Oh, yeah. We haven't talked about it. Yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> I still, I still have You have it? <laughs> yeah. You haven't sold it? No, nah, every time I'm about to, like some comes up, you know, it's, like, oh, we got fucking, you know, three weeks of crazy production. I'll just wait till, like, that that ends. And But I think I am going to start making moves. And because, I mean, the thing's not. Is it all jade up still? Yeah. <laughs> it's still very all jade up. It's just been sitting in my parking garage. And you know what, guys? I think I'm making the announcement here. Your boy is selling the J-Mobile. Wow. I'm selling the J-Mobile. I'm going to put together some sort of auction. Uh, cool. Yeah, and if you guys are cool, like, we'll, we'll announce it. I wonder if you could it. do it on Bring a Trailer. <laughs> on Bring a Trailer? Yeah, it's a website where people auction cars. Okay, yeah, we'll partner up with whoever wants Jeez. to do it. It's, you know, I'll let some J 10% it, and we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look at the website, see if you can do it. I'm sure they'd be like, ah, <laughs> but it'd be funny. Right, because remember, the J-Mobile was the thing that we tried doing, like, six years ago, and the guys that we had modding it, they were like, ugh, we're not doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I wonder if auction houses will be the same way. I know. No. <laughs> this is Texas. Fuck. 
Fuck. You can say Julia right. down. Can I do my dates really quick? Go ahead, hurry up. Let's go. Are we bring them up? Guys, Winnipeg, Toronto. I'm coming September 7th and 8th. Comedy Works, Denver. Oh, I uh, can feel it. September 14th mm. through 16th. Oh, that's going to be good. Uh, Short Lake Titties, Puta in, <laughs> in October. Tickets at Christina oh, Pete. Online.com. Also, buy my lipstick if you haven't already. It's pretty rad. Go. I love uh, you. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. We are supported by Hostage Tape. Hostage Tape is the strongest comfortable mouth tape on the planet, designed for strong jaws and works well with facial hair. It is made to reduce or even eliminate snoring caused by mouth breathing. Some people may think it's dangerous that they won't wake up or that their stuffy nose will kill them. It won't. We're still alive. And I know this because my husband had me start using hostage tape and I had all those fears. And I have to tell you, I actually sleep better at night and it's been fantastic. It's saved our marriage. Hostage tape increases oxygen uptake, giving you more energy because of nasal breathing. Increased nitric oxide production helps reduce inflammation and boost the immune system. It can also reduce bad breath, tooth decay, and dry mouth. Stop sleeping in the separate bedrooms and save your relationship. That's what I'm saying. Head to hostagetape.com slash mom for the one plus one equals three special offer. That's buy two, get a third free at hostagetape.com slash mom for life-changing sleep and a 100% money back guarantee. Get a 90 day supply of hostage tape, which equals just 55 cents a day at hostagetape.com slash mom. Uh, we are joined now by our guest. You can see his new YouTube special, Hair Plugs and Heartache. Yay. Give it up for Mateo the Body Lane, everybody. Thanks. Let him hear it. <laughs> I'm stealing that title from Heidi Klum. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, that is my goal. Um, congrats on the special. Where'd you shoot it? I shot it at the Comedy Cellar. Oh, great. Oh. That's yeah. great. Are they, are they recording a lot there? Are they they are. They're doing lots of specials there. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the great clubs in America, man. Yeah, it's world. like my home. I live yeah. like across the street. And do you oh, really? Mm -hmm. I wanted to call it originally my. I wanted to call the special. Netflix said no, but <laughs> everyone shot that down. So who but shot I it still down? Think it's, it's so funny. I, isn't that that uh, to it's me that so is funny? funny. Yeah. I, I like also that. want to write a book called "I Am Not a Chef," and then in parentheses, I'm also not an author or cookbook. But um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I wanted to call that's it a, Netflix. That's a good idea no. too. I know. That's okay. Can I? I think. Actually, your audience might be bigger on YouTube because, I don't know, it seems to be more accessible. You don't need a subscription to watch YouTube. Well, yeah, I, to me, it's like it's like the way of, I, it's moving in that direction. Yes. And I had a long talk with Schultz about it, who's like changed my career. I love you, Andrew Schultz. Um, but uh, he just said it's more visibility. And right now, that's where people, I'm doing theaters and, very, and people are very buying. very shareable, too. That's the yeah. thing about YouTube is that it's... Um, you know, nobody goes like, how do I get, everybody knows what it is. Right. And it's very easy to go to send a link to someone, watch this. That's very easy to do. All you need to do with YouTube is have, have the material be there, be strong. And also don't forget to uh, not just have the hour special up, but chop that up because oh, yeah. people consume two and three minute clips it, like just so much that that's how a lot of people go. What is this? Is that they they won't they a lot of some people will see an hour and go. I'm not watching this hour, right. but they start watching the clips and then they go. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. I'll watch this. Yeah, the goal we're gonna yeah. chop and it all chop up. it up. Yeah, your hair looks amazing. Yes. <laughs> I good. Mean, I paid a lot of money for it. It should look amazing. It First looks of all, so good. tell us the whole story because hair plugs are a conversation <laughs> we've been having here quite a bit. Not yeah. just. I mean, I'm I've kind of ex I don't know. I have this thing where my my head shape is um like it lends you have itself a good to head shape. Yeah, it's good a head shape. So I've kind of been like I've and even when I had hair, I always had like buzz cuts. I, I just I don't think I'm gonna make the change. Yeah. But one of our guys here really wants to get hair plugs. Which one? The one with a hat on. <gasps> Can I see your hairline? <laughs> okay, well also you have a great shaped head too. I did not yeah. I look like the alien from Mars cute. attacks when I shaved my head. It's like ah, ah, ah. I just yeah <laughs> But he's thinking about it. Yeah. He's thinking about it. I think if you're thinking about it, you should just do it. I mean, that's the whole the whole reason I did it is because I don't want to think about it anymore. There it was go. like trying to like make this sculpture on my head just to like leave the house, and then if it rains, I'm like, I don't leave today. Just floating. What's the what's the procedure like? Because that's what I've never you know. Well, I mean, most people are supposed to stay awake, but I have no drug tolerance because I don't do drugs. So they gave me two Valium and an Ambien, and, and I was, was out. Perfect. I know. I think that they were like, he's a New York guy. We better. 
Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, 10 hours I was asleep. And, and I even thought about it. I was like, they must have had a lunch break or something. Like 10 so, hours? 10 hours. Jesus. Yes. Long time. I didn't wake up once. And in that in the 10 hours, they're taking like hair follicles. They or? take that. So um, <laughs> I'm not, I had to watch it on YouTube because yeah. I don't remember my own surgery. But um, I whatever Michael Jackson did, like propofol or whatever. Yeah, propofol. Yeah. Great. Um, but it's the they, best. They, by they the t- way, I love anesthesia yeah. so much. Oh, it's it's like a fun game. Like, yeah. can I count down and survive? But um, yeah. <laughs> they take the hair from all around your head. I got uh-huh. the F.U.E. So F.U.E. is not where they like cut the strip on the back of your head and then so they take all that out and then they put it in like this water of i don't know some kind of chemical that keeps it alive and then they draw dots on your forehead Mm -hmm. and then they literally like like a plant they just plant it in follicle by follicle Mm -hmm. wow that's why that's why it's so so long the tedious work of and then do you when you become alert and and let's say whatever wears off, are you in great pain? No, that's interesting because a lot of people ask that question. Are you in pain? It's not painful, but it is very delicate. That is what I will say is like there's a whole I mean, they give you a very strict list of things you have to do. I mean, I had to sleep at uh, uh, a 45 degree angle for the first three nights. You're on steroids, you're on antibiotics, you can't touch your grafts. You know, you have to shower in an Epsom salt bath twice a day. And you can't sh- wa- uh, wash the top of your head. You have to just massage the, the donor area, uh-huh. which after like the third day starts to feel really good. You're like, oh, my God. And then to wash your hair, you have to like fill a thing with soap and then just pour like that and let it air dry. OK. But, Even still? Mm-hmm. No, not now. I mean, there's okay. just 10 days. And so then, 10 days and then you're good? Yes. All the grafts that they put in fall out. OK. And then you just go back to looking like how you did before the surgery okay. and then like a chia pet it starts growing in like chia 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 really wow yeah. in november i just saw like chip but now i'm like fully at the <laughs> yeah. like i have my whole the hair's all in now and how does it how do you wow. feel when you when you look at it do you, you love know, it like i'm like looking at it now it's just you know what it's done it's it's giving me some confidence uh, with men, mm-hmm. like if I'm in bed with a man and he tries touching my hair before, it's like yeah, you know. But now yeah. I feel <laughs> it's true. I literally float. This is a, a joke I use in my special, but I literally I've only floated above a pool. Never like as a gay alligator. <laughs> yeah. I never went under. That's uh-huh. so I. You know, it was. This sounds so stupid, but like I went to Miami in uh. January when my hair is already coming in and I put my head under and went like that and didn't have to think about it. Oh, cool. And I was like, you know what? I've worked hard. I've been doing stand up for 13 years. I've worked hard enough. I finally started making money a year ago. This is something I've been sure. thinking about. Yeah. I want to do it. And I'm very happy that I, I love did that. It. it looks great. Awesome. Man. It looks great. It does look great. I know. It's amazing. Like I would never have known. I te- But I tell everyone. My friend Trana Wintour was a great comic in Montreal. She was like, why are you telling people? And I was like, I can't not. Yeah. yeah. And I also think it's not just like a personal personality thing of yours. I think it's ingrained in like comedians. Yes. That like if you do something like that, you go like, I'm just telling people. And yeah. And it just, yeah. I don't know. It like it. It takes away that whole, like, is someone going to say something? Like, are they going to know my secret? You just kind of let it out. Yeah. You know? And I think most men, I, I get, like, tell. a lot of messages from people, like, oh, my God, like, where'd you get the surgery? Or I've been thinking about it. Yeah. Like, maybe, you know, because it's kind of like an unspoken yeah. thing for, for men. Yeah. The- well, I never understood the shame behind telling people your age or that you've had work done. Or right. I'm very, like, I do Botox and filler. And if you want Same. the doctor, here's the name. Yeah. Like, what? It's not like people can't tell. Yeah. I right. Well, it's like then, I I think people associate Botox with like the Real Housewives who get so much that so they much. Yeah. like they're like that, and yeah. so they that's where the bad connotation comes with Botox. But in reality, I'm like I'm just doing it so I don't look tired when I'm on stage. Yeah, yeah I should probably get it. I look at my lower bluffs. Your bluffs <laughs> are a mess, Tom. <laughs> a bluff. Bluffs. bluffs. These are your bluffs. bluffs right here. Oh, these. Yeah. He needs to get yeah. that done. Wait, and what's blepharoplasty? It's when you do your. So I want to do my upper bluffs. Get my eyelids done. <laughs> Like snip snip. It's like a lunchtime procedure, I heard. And then he's got these lower bags that are just terrible. And they can they can get these bluffs done. Yeah, he'll be out for like a month, but oh I my think God. it's worth You're it. You're gonna come back with me like Joan Rivers. <laughs> just gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. The big the big lips that I have. Mm. So But I do think, yeah, like just pull it up. Pull. Like cut that. Good. So the skin is like drooping Thank you. there. You can just do a little. 
Mateo, um, you were just in Mexico. <gasps> I was. I was there for. Well, I was supposed to be there for three days. I was doing a show in San Antonio mm -hmm. last Friday, uh -huh. and then I was like, okay, I'm going coming to Austin. So I I just started seeing this guy who lives in Mexico City. He came to New York. We fell in love, Aww. and then I and I don't fall in love easily. But and even when he was coming, because we've been talking for so long, like on Instagram and then Facetime and stuff, I was like, Ugh, I'm is not. Is he a fan? No, he didn't okay. know who I was. That's which great. is also now, great. Now, how yeah. long have you been together? Because in gay time, it moves very fast. Right. Well, we're moving. Pretty, we're like lesbians right now. Like Same we're in that you. stage. You're you moving. Know? You're going to move in. Uh, no, but I mean, I, I'm not that much of a lesbian. But this okay. is the most lesbian I've yeah. been. Wait, is lesbian move slower? Oh, fast. Or sp slower. I don't know. I'm asking. I you ever heard the the joke? Like, what does a lesbian bring on a second date? What a U-Haul. Oh, really? <laughs> what does a gay bring on a second date? What? What second date? That's the <laughs> stupidest joke in the book. That's okay, great. but I, I really like him. I'm really like I'm I'm very. It takes me a long time for me to get um comfortable with someone. I was immediately comfortable, so oh, wow. I was like, I have three days. I'm gonna go. I'll just come visit you. So I got tickets, but then uh, a volcano went off in Mexico City. So what? my flight was delayed seven hours, Oof. and then we That's finally enough to break up. I, oh, yeah. I was oh, yeah. I was so I'm like I'll walk New to boyfriend. Mexico. So then we get on the plane and then they go, it's canceled. <gasps> so then I had to come back the next day. So I had 24 hours in Mexico with him. Mm. And I will say Mexicans, everyone was, Me was Mexican in the, uh, the gate, were so calm. They, I was I blown know. away. If that happened in Italy, do you understand that that airport would burn to the ground? They, sure. Italians fight about everything. And you are part Italian and part Mexican? Yeah. And my dad's Irish. So I'm a mess. Wow. I'm the mm. trifecta of Catholicism. <laughs> that is. That's yeah, a lot of Catholic. Of yeah. Yeah. Um, so how was the trip down there? Isn't Mexico City wild? I, I, I was just it. there. I love it too. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was the coolest city. I mean, I didn't realize what an epic city was right there. Yeah. You know, it's it's strange because like I, I guess I didn't know what to expect architecturally or vibe wise. And it, it just felt so like... Um, it kind of reminded me of Sicily a little bit. Really? Like, yeah, in the way of how people move and talk and food is really good and everything feels, I don't know, I, I had such a good time. We had really, really good food. Of course, Mexican food is good. Yeah. Did you get diarrhea? No. Oh, wow. And I said to everyone, I'm, the, everyone told me not to drink the water. Yeah. So I, I just drank bottled water, but yeah. I was fine. That's fine. That's okay. the way to do it. I, know. I always get diarrhea, even if we stay at a nice resort. Really? Mm-hmm. Every time. Maybe it's nerves. Maybe I'm just so pumped to be there. I'm so nervous. <laughs> but I sort of avoided like fruits and stuff. Yeah, that, I don't know. I eat everything. Seafood That's sometimes the depends. You know. Well, see if I, I'm allergic to seafood. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You so I had octopus once in Spain and then had to go to the hospital. And then I had, um, the, it was like purple rash all over my body for a month. I looked oh, like a Dalmatian. No. It was horrible. So where did you grow up? Chicago. In Chicago. In Arlington Heights for everyone listening. Yes. But yes, then I moved big, to the, yeah. I moved to the city when I was like 16, 17. 16? Oh that's gosh. pretty young. Yeah, because my friend Sophia and Anais got a house, so I just started living with them part time in the city and then with my mom like on the weekends when and I had was, to work. And was Italian spoken at home and No, because my dad's not Italian. My dad uh you know, I think he was blown away by my mother's family because I grew up on the same block as my first like twenty cousins. Uh -huh. But um no, I learned Italian going back to Sicily to stay with my family for like the summer no shit yeah that's I was, great i was 15 you just go and then no one speaks english so you just come back and you're like buongiorno mamma allora senti you know <laughs> yeah. so now i speak fluent italian that's awesome yeah, yeah. and yeah. i go back like four times a year i love italy that's how oh. often you go back yeah 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 Jeez. and it's always to sicily no, but I usually go to Rome because I have a bunch of comedian friends in Rome who no are sure. Italian comics. Oh. Francesco Di Carlo and Daniele Gattano and Salverio and uh, great comics. <laughs> Look them up and they also are great dishes to eat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I go back. I'm going back for two weeks this summer and I'm going to like film stuff and, you know. That's awesome. That's yeah. Awesome. yeah. I love Italian culture, food, language, all of it. It's very yeah. similar to Latin culture. It is, yeah. I it find. is similar, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I, I, they're, you know, they're a, a, a warm people too. I, I like them. They're they're dramatic. Yeah, dramatic is true. They're yeah. very extreme, I think. Um, but they're great. Yeah, they're very warm people. But yeah. they love to. I mean, the art. I was in Naples. I don't know if you guys have been to Napoli. Naples. Yeah. Napoli. Yeah. <laughs> and um, they're like, I've never seen a city like this. It was the most insane. I I can't even describe it. At one point, we're in our cab. The cab driver only speaks Napolitano, which I 
can't speak. I only yeah. speak Italian. The dialects are wild. Uh, yeah, there's 34 languages in Italy. Oh my god! And I kept saying to him like, "Ti prego, che non posso parlare napoletano. Che se lo vuoi parlare, parliamo in italiano. Ti prego." Anyway, so he stops in the middle of the street. There's traffic everywhere. In the middle of the street, rolls down his window just to fight with another cab driver. Shi che And I'm like, "We're." Going to die. <laughs> it was, I mean, Italians are wild. Naples is great. I had a blast. Oh, That's fucking awesome. I want to go there. See, I told I've you. I've never been to it Italy. Too. Can you believe it? <gasps> what? I know I'm, I'm just such an Eastern You're European four mutt. times a year? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I know. I love it. When, when, you, when do you have the next time off? You should go to Italy. I know. We'll go to Italy. I really want to see the Aurora Borealis. So I think I might go to Iceland. <laughs> I know it's so random, but it's so like goth and dark and I'm, I want to change my life. And see Maybe it. a quick stop there and <laughs> yeah, then a and quick then stop Italy. in Italy. Yeah. I would love that. Yeah. Now, m- more importantly, I just saw a TV show today about anal douching. Okay, I'm the expert. Hmm. Amazing. So, That's so gay. Yeah. Do you... Yeah. <laughs> You're the it expert at anal douching. When <laughs> yes. do you do it before every sesh? Uh, you try to. I mean, you know, you want you want a clean house. Um, yeah. Are you ever afraid that you'll poop on somebody? Um, no, but I mean, if it happens, like, I mean, I mean yeah, you're playing in the fucking yeah, you're in the, the poop box. Den, so. But also, I'm, no one's like shitting on someone. I mean, it might yeah. be like a streak or two, but it's not like full blown. <laughs> well, that's yeah. not true. My friend. Nick, <laughs> my, I could call my friend Nick right now. He could tell you this story. He sounds like Squidward. He's like, well, he said he was clean. And then all of a sudden there was just a waterfall of diarrhea on me. And I thought we should probably stop. So there, there are times it happens, but not yeah. me. I, I eat a pretty strict diet. And yeah, I hear the fiber. That's what it's the TV show, Sex Education. And they were talking about well, anal douching. Are, they take the fun out of everything. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I've douched to watching like, I don't know, <laughs> video game news. Like, I mean, I'm having a good time. You know, you're a pro at this point. Yeah, you can do it in five minutes. You can get. I was gonna say, how long? I mean, it it depends. But I mean, usually it's you know, it's kind of like I wish you could see the face you make, like the the lack of enthusiasm I have in my face when I'm just lying on the bathroom floor. You squeeze a little bit of water up your ass. You room temperature usually. Room temperature, okay. Just a little bit. I have like a douche I bought off Amazon. (laughs) Amazon Mm. really supports the gays, (laughs) and. then you just a little bit, you wait two seconds, and then you sit on the toilet and you just do that until it comes out clean. And then, okay. you know, Is shower and wash your ass. Does and then hurt? how long are you good for? Uh, good, I mean, it could be a question. whole day. I mean, it just oh, really? depends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Does it hurt to hold in the water? I mean, it's like a second. No, you oh. don't really, fe- you don't feel it. I mean, you know, it's not like gallons. It's like, you know, that you don't need that oh, much. Oh, it's not even that much water in your Well, you're asshole. not supposed to do a lot because too much, like you just want to clean out the colon, like that area. This is, right. I, I hope no one's eating breakfast. Um, uh, no, it's we okay. love it. But, they, they, they've heard <laughs> I mean, worse. Yeah, I was we love say. brown yeah. talk, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, that's pretty much the process. And then you do feel more confident, you know, because I usually bottom. So it's like, I feel more confident. Sure. I would do it too, yeah, if I bottomed. Yeah. You don't want to shit on You know, what if I did it? Um, <laughs> what if you did what? Clean myself out. Maybe uh, I could uh, <laughs> bottom in a clean way. <laughs> I'll do it. You want a peg? I didn't say peg, but I, you know. <laughs> what do you want then? I mean, you could have a meal down there. You know. Uh, well, he wants me to lick his scrum, and I'm terrified of licking his dirty butthole. Just get like hire like a firehouse to come wash it out. Yeah. You know what I mean, I feel straight guys aren't giving the attention to their assholes the ways that gays Thank are. You. Okay, okay. Excuse me. Excuse me, though. Excuse me. Excuse me. I have a washlet, a total washlet at the house. Okay. That's a, so like any time I go to the bathroom, I get spray cleaned with warm water, high pressure. So everything's clean down there. I have wipes. <laughs> what do you mean no? Why are you shaking your head no? You know it's true. Because I'm guessing Mateo also has a fairly hairless anus. I'm just projecting. Yeah, it's not a lot of hair, no. Okay, so I have some hair. You, I can go clean it. I've had it waxed before. I can oh, wax my ass. I mean, that gets, that's a lot. You okay. just trim it. Just use like Manscaped. Okay. Yeah. They're a sponsor. Can you do so, that? Uh, <laughs> so if I did that, what's the next complaint? You're always gonna have a, a new complaint. What's the next complaint? I, I would I'm say afraid. for you, uh, like a like a hazard suit. Yeah. Like a like a mask. <laughs> you know. Well, I'm afraid of licking poopy. That's the thing is like I'm not poopy. gonna have poop down there, dude. You, but it's gonna be smelly like poopy. No, it's it? not. No, 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 no. If you wash it real clean, you're yeah. Good. I'm gonna wash myself. You're good to go. But I hear his dumps and they're terrible. <laughs> Like he's <laughs> terrible, and it's so hot down there and sweaty all the time. It's really hot. 
Do you really want to get your ass eaten? Yes, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, you should. It's fun. It's I a good, can it's a good only vibe. imagine. Yeah. <laughs> do I do the baby where I put his legs up or do I let him sit on my face? I'm afraid of both. I mean, yeah, I don't know how that works with straight couples. I guess whatever makes you guys feel the most confident. The what posi- I guess that is a good question. What position would you be in? I don't care. <laughs> Maybe on your back because it is just the easiest. Sure. Yeah. After all the oh, hours God, of work you've done sa- cleaning your ass, you're like, I want to lay real, down. Real enthusiastic face is going to make it. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along, Edie. Oh, yeah. So this is something that we're so excited to tell you. This literally <laughs> happened last week. Okay. We, um, we have a, the great guy who's considering uh, the hair transplant. Yes. He, yeah, he reports to us on what is cap, you know, what, what is bullshit, what people are lying about. Right. He has a lot of theories, interesting um, ideas. <laughs> and one of the things that he brought up <laughs> is that ED, erectile dysfunction, is cap. Like, is, is not real? Is not real. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, it gets better. The women here, Christina, Heather, Heather both were like, we agree. And so I was like, you know, I go, excuse me, like I don't, I don't have the problem. Like I'm, I'm fortunate in that I don't suffer from this. But I go, I know that this is an issue that people can either suffer, you know, physically can lead to it, mentally. They go, no, no, no. If you have ED, it's As just because you're guy. gay. Yeah. It's you're gay. If you're a straight man with ED, you're it's gay. because you're secretly gay. And then I go, what if you're gay? And they're like, well, you're probably straight. <laughs> What, this is your logic? <laughs> <laughs> this is the, I'm the you, only you, one here. You thought about this enough that you felt comfortable <laughs> presenting this to people? Not once run it by a close friend and say, do I sound crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that... We were just kind of talking about it at lunch. I'm like, I'm going to bring this one to the show. <laughs> well, I'm very proud of you for we were being lucky. so vulnerable. <laughs> We were lucky that uh, Stavros was here, oh, and he I was like, Stavros. he yeah. goes, I suffer from that. And I'm like, so, but he also said he's not against a guy maybe helping him out. So. But, we, but he's yeah. never tried being gay, hence yes. proving He has. My... Him and I have a series of naked photos <laughs> together. Have you ever That's seen right. our photos? <gasps> oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm a huge fan of his uh, former Instagram account. Same. The original one, Stabby Baby. Yeah. We did every photo together. One time we did a Thanksgiving one, just <laughs> naked, and he literally cooked a turkey for two hours to like have a hold a turkey. I mean, you could have just bought it. Yeah. Oh, he got yeah. cooked a whole turkey, and then we get completely naked. Uh, Those are some good photos. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so I've helped several. Can you tell these ladies though that I mean Have you ever suffered with a man that has ED? A gay man? Once a guy that I have sex with, uh he's a he's a friend of mine, but like a, a an actual fuck buddy, like the buddy part. It's not like they come over and you're like, get out, you know. Um he he's a great guy. Uh and you guys have sex regularly? Well, not anymore. He lives in Chicago, but oh. like every blue moon, I'd go to Chicago and be like, "Hey, girl!" And um, <laughs> oh, man, they have uh, the best life. But yeah, 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 last time he was like, he's like, "I'm a little embarrassed." He's like, "I I can't get hard right now." And I was like, "That Mike, that's a, honestly, I was tired," and I was like, "That's fine." Oh, so but your a- theory, sorry, your theory at the time wasn't like, "Oh, you're probably straight, man." Uh, he's definitely not straight. Hold on. I don't know. Tell, try to convince them. The, no. hot, the things that he's done, the unspoken things he's man. done to me. Uh, if he's straight, then. <laughs> He's a good actor. But 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 your honor, what what erectile dysfunction is repetitive inability to get hard. You're just right. saying it happened one time. That's a blip. Yeah. That can happen with straight guys who don't know they're gay. They, but I've sometimes it, I would say it is there is a lot of pressure sometimes when you have sure. to like, you know, yes. I don't I don't know how tops do it. I would if I was gonna top it, I'd have to act like Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. I don't have that kind of <laughs> yeah, you know, but um <laughs> the, 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 I don't say so like the times that I have topped, which I do enjoy topping, but it is it's very funny to imagine me doing it. Um, you know, I I get like why is it funny sometimes. to imagine you doing that? I don't know. I just don't have that kind of chutzpah. I don't have the same Dude, kind is it of a like, different take type? it. You know? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a total different personality. Yeah, but I think when I'm really comfortable with somebody, yeah. then then it becomes easier for me. But okay. like generally speaking, like I I don't know. I prefer bottoming. Okay. Yeah. All right. I am a bottom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fun. Quick question. Quick question Nature's for you. Bottom. So, no. So I <laughs> thought. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, go ahead. What was your question? <laughs> you, you're going to ask a quick question. And I feel like it's not going to be a quick answer. 
ahead. I was just gonna say, uh, uh, before you came out as gay, right? Or or was it just always you never were uncomfortable with it? It was just um, you know, as soon as you knew you knew. I wasn't like a four year old marching in the pride yeah. parade. You know what I mean? Like it was there was there was a lot of dr drama. So did you uh, did you try having sex with women first? No, I never no? had sex with a woman. The last girlfriend I had, her name was Francesca. She's married now with a pitbull, and um, <laughs> she and we worked at Michael's together. So that's, oh, I love that, Michael's. There's your sign. Well, that's on her. You know what I mean? Like if we're meeting in in the yarn section to break up, that's yeah. pretty gay. Yeah. So, but. <laughs> Yeah, but no, I never had sex with a girl. I mean, it was, you know, you're, I was... You're a gold star did, gay. I am a gold did star. Did you guys gay. fool around? Yeah, we'd like make out and stuff, but that's about it. I know where Annie's going. I and, know where uh, he's going, And too. yo, like, check this shit out, though. What happened... <laughs> <laughs> what, in my, my 94 Buick in the parking lot at Michael's in yeah. Rolling Meadows, Illinois? Yeah. Um, yeah, it didn't get hard. But she's great. We're still friends. She laughs. Because? Because. You're gay. 80s cap. Yeah. 80s cap. Well, I'm all right, but I'm... I'm already gay. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, because Edie is saying. Cap. Yeah. Because you found your right lane for he your peener. Edie is Cap is out. like, just just say you spend all day on TikTok. I don't even know how else to describe. What is this lingo? ED is Cap. <laughs> it's like, I can't even fathom the amount of time you're consuming TikTok to speak confidently that way. <laughs> oh, shit. Ugh. <sighs> Welcome to our world. You know what's, <laughs> what's wild is house. that you know ED is cap, but then also sometimes you know so your deepest, dick works just fine. Darkest, this blew deepest, me away. Like you never told nobody. Like, what's your deepest darkest secret? I fuck my sister. <laughs> your blood sister. Can I what say I something like real quick though? Yeah. What answer were you expecting from a shirtless man <laughs> standing on a street corner with no home? I would love to know what he what they thought he was going to say. I thought he was going to say some <laughs> like. Wild, not okay shit, but yeah, I like just I didn't. A bank. I just didn't gonna. <laughs> you know? I wasn't thinking. I fucked my sister. I fucked no. my sister, bro. Yeah, it's there's a lot happening in this, and look at how happy he looks to say. Oh it. yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. Stoked. It's almost like you can tell that her face changed, <laughs> and then moments later his kind of dropped. Because I was he's like, my dick still, he's, 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 like, he's, like, still yeah, he's trying to soften it now. Yeah. And then and we were both drunk. She's like, yeah, yep. He's like, are oh, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> he really tried to soften the blow yeah. by being like, well, I was jacking off. It. And yeah. then she decided to jump in. We, we were, were both drunk. We were both drunk. Yeah, you know how that goes. <laughs> right? You give a fuck your brother? And it's just like, no. I got to go. I'm sorry I asked you anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, look at, yeah. You look at his stomach. He's got like a hard yeah. ball there. Yeah, no. a cyst or tumor or something. That's, there's oh, a think, lot going yeah. on. Medically, I don't think things are going well no. here. No, I really don't. That's the uh, the cyst that grows after you fuck your family members. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I like that he accessorizes. <laughs> he you know what I mean? Yeah. He left the house. Well, house. God. He left somewhere, and he was like, "I'm somewhere. gotta have a necklace on." Yeah. Where's my necklace at? Where's his, my black necklace? His yeah. pants yeah. necklace. He's wearing jeans. <laughs> yeah. He's a fan of the show. It oh, should be. A, I wish it was a mini shirt. You know what I mean? Because he's not wearing a shirt. <laughs> like a Playmobil shirt. That was really cool, Tom. This is such a good. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever, since you live in New York, yeah. you're involved in the gay community? Have you ever? Let's see. What, is, what does that mean? I'm involved in the gay community. Well, you're a gay man who's open and and like taking surveys, taking I'm, surveys, and yeah. you know you, uh, you <laughs> you've been out there. I'm just saying, have you ever? Do you know about Robert Paul Champagne? No, you don't know Robert. Mm -mm. He is also in New York. Okay. Somebody who he's my favorite gay and. Who I think Robert Paul City. Champagne. Oh. Robert Paul Champagne. Do you Champagne. think that's his baptismal name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, black guys who love to fuck and fuck good. If you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at twenty three ninety five, if you want to move in, you can move What's in. What's scary is that's what I'm gonna look like when I'm <laughs> fifty five. Like yeah. I, I can see it already. That's going to be me. I'm going to be in my one bedroom apartment <laughs> killing cockroaches and on my spare time going on TikTok being like, let me tell you something about having sex in the back of a Walgreens. It's great. <laughs> Putting out messages. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone God. who wants. I need, I need to be fucked a lot, man. Do you? Free food, free rent and everything else, man. Here's a deal, man. Here's Men a deal, from man. jail, homeless, or um, you're a thug. 
You want to come? He takes no time. Obviously, his house looks like shit. He looks like shit. But then he spends all of his time grooming that mustache. That's gays it's in a crazy. nutshell, right? Yes. The mustache is definitely taken care of. My God, look at it. I mean, that thing is like. <laughs> It's, it looks like he's stuck it on. <laughs> it looks like a wig with a lace front and had someone else groom it before it went on his face. Ugh. He's just a great Oh, indignity. Frank, what would you do, man? Free rent, you get a lease in a key. Fuck me. Piss on me. Beat me. I'm home now. You well, that part I can get into. Yeah. Yeah. Try it out. Try it out, man. If you're in my building, try it out. You want to fuck a piss on me? Try it out. Seriously, probably only as fuck, man. I'm looking for hardcore guys. Is he in my nonna's basement? Why is there like Christmas <laughs> gifts from 1975 behind him? Yeah. That he's took got, us he's years got a lot to figure out. of like tchotchkes and like. like of course he does. He's yeah. a gay man of a certain age in the yeah, West. He likes village. cake. Yes. He has a lot of cakes at the house. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, the apartment. Um, Wagner houses. <laughs> 2395 Wagner House Apartment 2C between 124th and 1st Avenue, Spanish oh. Harlem. Yeah. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Spanish yeah. Harlem. There's and a he... great uh, tortilla place oh. over there. Robert? Why don't you go visit him? On 116th. You know, I, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a cool doll collection. He gave me Do one it. of his favorite Barbies. I deliver it. I'm a hot fuck. white trash. Come to this fuck. Well, at least he knows what he wants. He, he does. knows what he wants. He does. Now, may I ask you, in the gay community, I, I lived in San Francisco in the 90s, and there were, like, those ads in the back of, I forget what newspaper it is, but, you know, like, guys would put out ads like this. Like, oh, come sure, fuck like me Craigslist and, or Manhunt yeah. or, and all that stuff in, like, the early aughts. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now I think everything has sort of been, like, sort of solidif uh, solidified into Grindr. Grindr. Like, the apps. You know, you can go on the apps. and There's an app called... Um, what is it called? It's not Grinder. It's not Scruff. It's called like Scruff. No, it's called like Smoosh. Oh fuck! My friend Jacob would know what it is. Anyways, it's for people who just want like. There's no conversation because on Grinder you can still converse. You know what I mean? Like no conversation. This one's just like I'm in this bathroom at Macy's. That's my, what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And here's about. like the, they give you the map. That's what I'm and talking about. You find about. them on the map. That's it's like Zelda, old, but gayer. That's old school gay. Yeah. That's hardcore fucking. I'm going to have the pink hanky or whatever in my back pocket. I'm inside of a Walgreens. Find me. That's amazing. That's fucking yeah. rad. Dude. I love that kind I'm of I'm too neurotic. You know what I mean? Sure. But it, there is, a, I mean, that sounds fun. Good yeah. for them. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. You would be best. just too nervous to, to partake in that? I'm neurotic even ordering coffee. So, yeah. you know what I mean? I can't imagine. But, um, yeah, I, I always support anyone in their what sexual you, escapades. What are you neurotic about? What do you mean? Like, I don't know because you know I'm so sensitive that I feel like I don't know. Like, is this who's this who who's this person? Where are they from? Yeah. What, what do they want from me? What if what you know? Like, I don't understand. You know what I mean? I, I, I have meant, sex with people who I have a connection with. I yeah, feel. yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought you meant like STIs. Or something. Oh, who cares? STIs grow. <laughs> yeah. Please, grow who up. gives a shit? The times I've had gonorrhea. <laughs> My so. ex cheated on me, and I had found out because I got gonorrhea, and no. I was opening for Aziz, and so I found out in a bus in Toronto, and I woke up at 7 o'clock in the morning. I was like, fuck, so I'm like running to find a clinic because my ass was in so much pain. Oh. It was it was horrible, and then I find this uh, like kind of like a city MD, and I was like, hi, American, I'm so sorry about my boyfriend cheating on this, and no, for a doctor. They're like, okay, they gave me the shot. I immediately felt better. Good. Then I go back on the bus, and Aziz wakes up, and he's like, good morning. I'm like, oh my God, I got an STD. And he's like, oh my God. You know, so <laughs> poor Aziz had to deal with me. How did you, uh, did you call the, the boy at the I time? did, and he said, well, maybe it's because you sat on a toilet. No. But you know what? I will say, um, to both of our credit, we were having a rough time. So uh, it's, not that it's understandable he cheated on me, but I was like, yeah, we weren't we weren't happy at that time. Um, I just wish he was honest, like if he was yeah. honest. Man. But we ended up becoming friends. Oh, even you know. after he gave you gonorrhea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We okay. worked it out. We're friends. That's he's, nice. a great, cool. he's a great guy. Good. Nice. So you know what you had to do, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm going to come now. I'm going to come now. He I'm is coming. sweating. Oh, he's oh, really oh, into oh, it. Oh, oh, I love that men oh, announce oh, that they're going to come. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 baby. Oh. Oh, get oh, oh yeah! Oh, 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 he put this on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> he put this on YouTube. Which is I would wild. love to hear him at karaoke. Yeah. He does do Funny karaoke. You mention. He does do karaoke. What yeah. songs does he sing? Coney Island. He does he the goes. Coney Island. He, do, he like stands on a box and sings. Yeah. Yeah, he does it regularly. Yeah, I love karaoke. This is why my kids aren't allowed on YouTube. Because of uh, Robert? Well, just like... Just, just like, Robert. Just, just Robert, Robert Paul Champagne. Yeah. No, like, 
Well, well YouTube maniacs. is like the Wild West. I and know. it also, things ha- like you can go on looking for like a pie recipe and five minutes later watch South Korean women getting vicious plastic surgery. Like it just leads you to a place you didn't think you were going to go to. I His know. Instagram stuff's a little softer, you Off know? It up the total pig. He's doing poppers right now. <laughs> Officer comes up like it wild, dirty, and filthy. That's Officer right. Cumdump is a pretty cool name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, in the gay world, do you see men like this in, in, oh, sure. in the bars or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Do they? But I haven't. You know, to be honest with you, I have not been out to like gay bars in a long time. Yeah. I just do stand up. Like it's so yeah. funny because, yeah. like, yes, I'm obviously very gay. But my whole life, if I'm not touring, I'm at the cellar doing, you know, three yeah, spots a you're, night, you're hanging with that. Keith Robinson. Yeah. yeah. That you're old right. man. Yeah. <laughs> How's Keith doing? Good. We basically dated during the pandemic. We Aww. had dinner like every single night. And yeah, we were supposed to go to the opera together the other day. but The opera, couldn't. really? Yeah, yeah. Is he I, a fan? Um, not particularly. I used to sing opera, but... Um, you sang opera? Oh, yeah. Wow. I was a very serious singer. Wow. Wow. And I was a bass. You would think I was like a tenor. My voice was like super low. Oh, wow. So when I would sing, it was like, yeah, like just like. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. There's Keith. Aww, he's I love Keith. He's a good friend. That's great. I, that's that's what. And then how long do you, how, what's the path like for somebody that goes, I want to pursue opera? You know, like how do you. Usually you say you're gay and then it happens. Yeah, and then it happens. Um, <laughs> or you're Italian. I mean, yeah. there's no. You had a great combo different. then. Um, I, I always liked singing, but when I was 15, I started singing and my teacher was, I had a teacher named Tim Heck, who was a great teacher. And he was like, I think you should study the voice. And there was a great teacher named Nick Falco who taught me opera. And it's a lot of it's like, you have to breathe. That's why my voice, I never lose my voice on the road oh, because I have me. such a good control of breath and my diaphragm and like how so I you speak. Know that you and project from oh, here. Every, every time I talk, my stomach is going in. Really? Oh, people who lose that's their how voice. You do it? I lose my voice a lot. I would, I, if I touch your stomach and say talk, I could tell you in a second. If, because if they're not contracting the... Yeah, you have to learn how to control it from your diaphragm. I'm controlling my diaphragm and, right and we, now. We would breathe out of a straw on the floor oh. and do like operettas and you'd have to do like all these like vocal warm ups and like concentrate on like your stomach. That's actually very interesting. I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it now too. You really talk I'm contracting louder. my diaphragm. Yeah, me too. No, you 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 do it for like. It's so much better. <laughs> this is great coaching, Mateo. I suppose Good out to you. My microphone has erectile dysfunction. It's cap. <gasps> it's, it's cap. It's cap. It's cap. Hold I on. Think. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold Can on. I They're take coming. A They're coming. Real quick too. See, yeah, yeah, the yeah. microphone's so gay. Much. This is such the a gay mic. Gay. Look. You said you you just said that you did this podcast called Growing Up Italian. Yes, they were great. And um, so was the house like a really a, like Italian household? They did it above um, their the uh, Anthony and Sons, I think is the name of the uh, sandwich shop that their dad owns that they work at. And then it's above. So they have this whole studio built out with like, you know, the Italian flags and all the Italian this and stuff. Mm. All Italians work there. And it was great. You just walk up and. You know, they're like, hey, Matteo. And I'm like, hey. Because <laughs> I'm so, what's funny is like being like, I'm so gay, you know what I mean? But uh-huh. then like once, but I still know how to move about an Italian family, sure. which could be Im- Im- uh, intimidating to anybody else, right? They're like very big and just, fuck this guy, did it? You know, yeah, and I'm yeah. just like, hey, okay, va bene. And then yeah. you're like in. Yeah. It's great. And it's were, really was your house uh, growing up? Um, like, a, was it a big family? Did you grow up in a... My mom's one of, well, in theory, she's one of like 13 or something, Fuck. but she's one of seven. My grandpa, so my mom's mother's Italian mm-hmm. and her dad is Mexican. Okay. And he had five kids with my Italian grandmother, mm-hmm. my mother being one of them, but then also had five kids with another woman and then named all the kids the same names. Oh my so God. So he wouldn't confuse them. Oh my God. So, uh, and I went on a Spanish TV show called Noches con Platanito where I said that story. They laughed and he said, Quien de la gente, tu abuelo. So, um, yes. So then I, I, did, I did Noches con Platanito. You too. did too? Wasn't yeah, it yeah. so wild? Yes, dude. They dressed me up like Mariah Carey and had me rollerblade around like the, the um, music video fantasy. It's oh online my somewhere. Gosh. Yeah, that's the clown. Remember the Mexican clown show? Yeah, yeah oh, I remember yeah. that. They wanted you to do something like putting the ants funny in your thing, pants. No, they poured, beer, <laughs> they poured beer down my pants. Really? Yeah, yeah. So they poured beer down my pants and then they go, uh, I did the, you know, I, I was like, okay, I do the bit with them. And then they're like, they're like cut. And they go, uh, can you do a, like a, a bigger reaction? And I was like, <laughs> what? And they're like, cause I did like a, you know, oh my God. And they were like, no, I'll go like, 
Oh, and they're like, that's what the audience wants to see. And I was like, sure. So I did like a comically ridiculous overreaction and they were like, perfect. It, <laughs> you know? it does warm my heart because Italian and yeah. like a lot of Mexican talk shows Humor. are the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's usually hosted like a show is like hosted by a woman in her early hundreds yeah. with like a rough like beef jerky voice like, buongiorno, oggi ce l'abbiamo, you know, Raffaella. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then someone's like crying about cancer and then minutes later there's <laughs> yeah. just naked women. And That's what one of my, we did a, it's a while ago, but we one time highlighted, I thought it was so funny. It was some regular just Italian talk show and when, just like how you would be in the States where the host was behind a desk and the guest was sitting on the, you know, the couch. And when they would come back from commercial, the camera would start on her legs and just go <laughs> up like this. And then when they would, when she would talk, she's like answering, ah, then the camera would go down sometimes and show her legs again. I was like, that is so fucking perfect that they're it's like so they're like she's awesome. hot look at her legs you know but the italians you know it's so funny because like here like if you see a breast on tv people freak out yeah. but yeah, like there so. i mean it, people naked all the time yeah. Europe, yeah. and uh, isn't the age of consent 14 in italy i well, i thought it was gonna be like seven i mean who knows <laughs> i mean you know what i mean will you will you google at the age of consent in mm. italy Okay. why i don't know he's why? probably like on the whose computer is this um <laughs> Yeah, 14. <gasps> wow. 14. That's wild. The, the lowest minimum age is 14, set in seven member states. states Austria, Bulgaria, Estonia, Germany, Hungary. There you go. Italy and Portugal. Hey, in Hungary, my motherland too, 14. 14 is real young. And also, Italy is like the country they live longer than anywhere on Earth. So you oh, this can't says, even be... This does say most members between 14 and, and six, 16. So some of them might... It might be a okay. little... But 14 that's is... 14. That's... I mean, come that's on. That's so young. That's I was grade. still playing Pokemon Red. Yeah. That's yeah. The eighth grade. I wasn't banging in 14. Yeah. No. No. No, that's not... I was be. 19 when I lost my virginity. Yeah, yeah, that's up there. Yeah. I came out when I was 18. I oh, went okay. to art school. Yeah. yeah, where'd you go to art school? School, the Art Institute of Chicago. Okay, I was a painter, and then I worked as a storyboard artist for TV commercials and fashion oh, illustrations cool. for years. Do you remember your? You do remember your first time? Uh, yes, it was great. It was. Yes, it was through my friend Hannah. This guy, we're still friends. He's got a husband, and he was this hot Italian Jewish guy from Queens. I was, I thought he was so exotic, and uh, you know, he had like a very like Queens wave talking, da, da, da. and uh, he was so nice, and he also spoke Italian. So we Aww. and we had sex, and then talked about whether we liked Fantasia Barino better or Jennifer Hudson. Oh, that's nice. So it was a it was all in all a great experience. a good experience. Okay, mm -hmm. wow. lovely. Did you ever have? Because you said when you would go to the bars. The uh, you said like the full you know spectrum of gay there. Well, uh, so back in my day, um, mm. if you know, to, to, I would sneak into gay bars. You'd get yeah. like a fake ID, and the first place I went to was a place called Hydrate in Chicago. <laughs> and you have to remember, I I'm it just being gay like what two thousand and five. It wasn't it didn't have the exposure that it has today, like being queer and all this kind of stuff. So to learn about your community, you have to go you have to seek it and you don't know so you literally walk into a bar i remember walking in i was so overwhelmed because it's every kind of queer person that exists from drag queens to just a normal business guy to this you know <laughs> it's just it's all there you know and i remember peeing and it had a sign above the, the urinal that said no meth and i thought Where, what oh. um so but you know it can be overwhelming it's i think lot. at first yeah but now yeah. you know it's like seven-year-olds doing makeup tutorials on youtube and it's like okay like the exposure is so it's gone the other it's, yeah. It's, yeah yeah it's, it's like there's not a lot of mystery anymore which is good yeah you know it is good it, it yeah. also used to be i remember when any, anybody would whether it's in real life or in celebrity world was like i'm gay everyone would be like <gasps> Right, and then now if someone's gay. They're like, okay, You're like no one bats an eye. Paul Lind was like, I've got a secret to share. They're like, <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, everyone knows. I know, I, I, but I think it's that's good. It's moving that's in that definitely direction. Good. Yeah. yeah, and and I get like every pride. It is annoying because like suddenly Chase Bank is like, we love gays. I understand that that's annoying, but when I was seven, I would have killed if my local bank said they loved gays because mm. I was. A, I mean, I had Maleficent. I love that's the only th oh she was gay icon yeah I, she's my favorite yeah growing up oh yeah yeah she was Loves. a powerful bitch oh yeah i have everything maleficent mark yeah. davis i'm obsessed with him love love mark love. davis he did the drawings of a lot of disney not the Angelina oh my god Jolie, i way. thought you meant the owner of the uh, las vegas raiders <laughs> yes do you know who they you know who that is i marked we're good friends <laughs> 
<laughs> Pull up. He Mark also Davis designed Raiders. Maleficent. Yeah, yeah. apparently. Um, he uh, he has a, a a very specific look. <gasps> yeah. That's why I he left like, the house with that hair every day. Do you, this yeah. is a good example of someone who just get the hair plug so you don't have yeah. to walk around like. But he has hair. It's interesting. He actually has hair. He just chooses that style. It's pretty cool. Do you think he would survive in gay culture with his haircut? Um, I th he's not gay. He's not gay. He's not gay. I for, if I squint, it, I would think it's Katie Lang. <laughs> he's a nice guy. Is he a nice guy? Is he a nice guy? guy? Yeah. I don't give a shit. I'll never meet him. I don't give a shit. And it's not the Mark Davis I know. So okay. And Mark, if you're listening, which camera should I look at? Um, Mark, somewhere over here. Over here, Mark. It's enough. <laughs> and how much money do you think he has? The rate not is that so much. Probably like six, seven hundred million, something like that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. And this is the best hair he could get. He you likes it. A shake and go wig that has no front, back, <laughs> side, it. and this. What is this? I heard a story from somebody who goes. He knows that everybody talks shit about his hair, and be, this is a real like. What is it? Don't don't cut your nose despite your like that because. People talk about it. He's like, "Fuck you! I'm gonna keep doing it." Oh, and that, and that it's a pride he, thing. yeah, he just like, "I'm doing it no matter." And that he drove round trip a few hours to get this haircut every. Then week. at least if you're gonna have this ridiculous haircut, fix the rest of yourself. <laughs> what is this? Look at that outfit. This the confident. I straight Can people I, are wild. Yeah, may I tell straight you that? People I was gonna ask you that. Wild. Um, yeah, because in the gay world, like you couldn't find a man that one there unless you're super oh, to the left. Wealthy. Sorry. That the middle one. See how that jacket doesn't fit correctly? That is kind of ridiculous. See how it's like you know it's it, not tailored. It's like hanging halfway down his hand. That's crazy. That's crazier to me than his hair. The only thing that could save this entire look is if he was smoking like a Virginia Slim. Yeah, <laughs> and then I would be like, "You go, girl. <laughs> you better work." Yeah, it's it is. Heck, crazy. The more I look at him, the more I kind of like him. He's super nice. He is really, really. This is nice. like if Dennis. What was that? What's the uh, what's the actor's Dennis name? The Menace? No. Um. Ugh, what's his name? He's from Parent Trap. He played the dad from Lindsay Lohan Parent Trap. Dennis Quaid. Dennis. He looks like if Dennis Quaid and everything went horribly wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can see that. I'm sure he looks sweet though. He is. Am I being too harsh? No. 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 no never. No, no. Not okay. sure. Has. Do, do you no. think he has a woman in his life to tell him like, hey, that needs to stop? Because if a woman says, I won't have sex with you anymore, that will give the man incentive. He yeah, brought, he he brought a woman money. to the show. Yeah, he brought a woman to the show. He's got money. So. Yeah, but she needs to put her foot down and be like, you cannot, dude. I can't fuck you like this. It's embarrassing. I don't know. Maybe there's, if it was on a yacht, I could probably look past that haircut. There's, that's what I'm saying. But it's just weird to want to look like a four-year-old from 1974, like a Sears photo, family photo. And then from the forehead down, just you're, uh, uh, you're not that. I'm trying to be nice. There yeah, you go. That's okay, good, that's better. That's, that's so much that's better. That's a little better. That's a respectable look. Yeah. Well, I I'll probably become that. You know what I mean? Like I find a look that cements me. Like and then I just never let it go. Click that photo. Let's look at his uh. And that one, one above. Oh my god! Oh, look, at, look at the difference in dudes. Beckham is there. so hot. She's so good looking. Look at her. Oh my god! Oh, she knows. She's the smartest woman in America. Jesus Christ! <laughs> she is absolutely the smartest woman in the world. Good for uh, her. Yeah, Beckham is a hottie. Um, I love Victoria Beckham. I love their relationship. He uh, he got hair plugs. Oh yeah, no yeah. question. Yeah, yeah. What is their relationship? I'm not I'm not kept up with them. I follow Victoria on um Instagram mm -hmm. and she's very they're very cute together and she's always always like pushing her makeup line and stuff and uh yeah. they they really love their kids. Yeah. They're I think their oldest son's like a soccer player. They just seem like a nice family. Sweet, yeah. 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 Posh and Becks. Posh and Becks, right. I was hoping we'd see them in London when we were there. Yeah. But we didn't. <laughs> Portion backs. No, look didn't. at them. They look great. They do. Yeah, they really have aged well. Yeah. They really take care of themselves, just like Tom and Christine. Yeah, exactly like us. You guys look great. Portion well, backs of comedy, I guess. Yeah, totally. Ooh, I like her. Goth They're both kind of goth vibes back in the 90s. Oh, totally. yeah. They Dang. look like they could be in, like, what were those Twilight series? Yeah, the vampires. They mm -hmm. look awesome. She does. She looks like she has not gained a pound. No, in, no. In Thirty years. She looks like she got that buckle fat removal. Oh, what's that? You know, that's the new trend now. Buckle fat removal. What does it's that the mean? Fat here. They go yeah, in and they yeah, cut yeah. it out, so you have like a caved. In, <laughs> yeah, I know. So you have like a caved in face. Yeah. Whoa. 
And it's, I'm like, should I get buckle though. fat removal? No, dude. I shouldn't? No. no. Right, you know what you can do instead is get filler on your cheekbone, You don't bone, need to get that either. Jesus Christ. You no, know, you just <laughs> a little filler right here. I'm serious. You don't we need to do, do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah, that's shit. it. That's what it does. Oh, so it gives you that like that look. Yeah, cheekbones. Cheeks. Yeah. Or just contour, bitch. You don't need to like suck fat out of your face. I yeah. know. Maybe you do. Oh my god, it's so depressing. She looks good. <laughs> yeah. That worked. That really worked on her. Can we do TikToks? Okay, sure. Then are you? Are you yes. not on TikTok? Okay. Well, I, no, I, hold on. I got to show you one thing. Okay. Oh Jesus. This is my one of my favorite clips of all time. It is a gay man. And oh yeah, he's older, and he's vid- he's a uh, like video. What's it called? Like um, skyping, you know, like with another guy, and so it's only one side of it. But I just love his game. Like you know, when like someone just spits tight game. Right before you come, yeah, I'll swallow if I want to. I have no problem swallowing. <laughs> I'd stop for a minute and I'd put a big hickey on your inner thigh there and uh, just suck on that and make it nice and is he about to fart why is he sitting like that i'm gone why is he <laughs> leaning on his side holding himself up and you're in the chair already He's are you so getting fat. up or are you sitting down Turn over and, and so i would fat. play with your cheeks maybe even massage your little hole oh, and Jesus make you feel Christ. just the only man in my life you're, you're just it Sir, this is um, well, it's Starbucks. Normal size. It's it's not it's not that that big. Well, the one the one thing the one thing that I'm going to tell you is that uh, the first time it's it's going to be quick with me because it's been a long time. Oh, this okay, poor guy. You come, uh, you come. Let me see. Let me see how much you come. Let me let me see all that come. How how much? It would probably uh, help how, him to give big. like a little more like a, a expression. Like, yeah. Everything is said like he's working at H and R Block. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's maybe my like favorite part. Lift yeah. the voice a little bit. I think he just hasn't yeah. done it much, so he's like, oh yeah, and let me see how much you're gonna come come from me. <laughs> yeah. Well, he just doesn't have the energy. He's so fat. Yeah, well, he's, yeah. yeah. I don't think he's. I'm gonna put this in oh. your mouth, and you're gonna have to suck it dry. You're gonna just suck it dry, Mark. You got that beautiful Mark Davis. Mouth. He's talking to Mark Davis. <laughs> yes. Which Mark Davis, though? <laughs> Give it to me, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can feel it. Mm. Uh, oh, that's going to be good. Oh, that's going to be good. I mean, oh, I basically oh. did this throughout the whole pandemic. <laughs> so I really that's feel for you. this guy. Just me on FaceTime with my ex being like, all right, here's my ass. Uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, the indignity of my sex life. Oh, Jesus. You don't just, have to be just wanting. I want real bad, too. No, you, Why is it? What's with the not, headset? You're not hard on the Like eyes. he's at a call and center. I like your personality. It's it's fucking worse. Let me put it this way: you're you're not coarse or gruff, but you're not pansy either. You're just <laughs> right. You're just just the kind of man I want. So that's kind Does of that a cool feel compliment. Good when you hear that, Mateo, could you get hard with Leo? How much money does he have? <laughs> he doesn't. No. Not now. No, Thank you don't. You. This doesn't make you excited. Yep. Especially now for me, I thought mine was going to be easier uh, at this but time. But I like him. No, I like him too. I, I remember you know? my grandmother whenever. Why, like this why is this on? Why do why do we have access to this? Uh, we were lucky. <laughs> yeah. um, I just think it's also interesting that he's jerking off with this guy right now, and he brings up his grandmother. Yeah. You know? like, well, sometimes. that's how much he's jerking off that he's like. By the way, my nana. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, obviously, this man's doing nothing else with his life. That that is the standard now. It's so normal to him. For my grandmother, whenever something like this happens, is when I was growing up. When I was growing up, and and I had plans, He's and then jerking they off right changed now. with no, for no cause that I. How cost, are you even? You know? And I complain about it. And thinking about your nana. Tell me, well, son, she'd say, "Man proposes and God disposes." So don't worry about it. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, it's a nice kind of thing to drop in there. <sighs> I know uh, it's a bummed yeah, out. Bu- Stop, Mateo's like bummed say, out. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just, bummed uh, out. We did it uh, today. It's enough. It's back. enough. Sorry, <laughs> they don't, they don't hang You know what it down. is? I'm just on the precipice of becoming this. So it's like <laughs> there's my life can go in two ways. Wait, you're about to gain 200 pounds? I am. No. We are inches away from this becoming my life. You don't understand in gay world. 
I mean, what's the death knell? How old is too old in gay world? There's no but the, the, 35. Anything goes. Done? Anyone will you'll find anyone with any okay. well, in, with any good. interest. Okay. Bears, you know what I mean? Yeah. Older guys, sugar daddies, Somebody's young guys, it, yeah. twinks, the whole thing. Oh, that's yeah. good though. There's a spectrum. Yeah. yeah. That's exciting. So what category are you in right now in your life? Uh, desperate. Just um <laughs> no, I I would probably say I don't know. I a lot of, I get called twunk a lot mm -hmm. because I have muscles, but I'm still rep I'm sort of like finish like a maybe like an old twink a retired twink oh a twunk i a, like a twunk that. a twink who's gone to grad school i like that am i still a bear oh yeah uh well like maybe like a cub <gasps> but definitely you, you would be more daddy cub. i don't i He's think daddy. more daddy yeah, i don't think people would age. say bear or cub you'd be just daddy. but you went daddy. from bear to cub that's huge Very, pretty huge yeah. that's huge transition yeah i'm pretty excited about I'm it so happy for you babe yeah <laughs> I'm happy just, I was here for just that. Just back and very, very close to the, to the top. Uh, of my maybe it doesn't I feel matter sick. how warm can it you gets. Stop? I can be sweating like a. Is like he a doing black this all day? Yes. Yes. Is it all, also it looks like he lives like on the a, first floor like, and the windows are open. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> this guy is living his best life. Okay? Evidently, can be sweating like a like a black man and and they don't uh, go down. So, Thanks, all right. Tom. Um, we go from his nana to black men in this yeah, conversation. I this mean, guy is losing it. All right, let's um do your talks real quick for Mateo. We have Thank Oh my you. god, this Finally. is such a I, okay, I'm nervous. Oh why? Cuz sometimes is, you got you guys watch the most insane shit. But I guess is, we've already No, yeah. this is the worst. Okay, I'm yeah, here you're to right. elevate and lift. Got and it. It's a sorbet. I'm a palate cleanser <laughs> for the horrors that Tom has shown us today. Okay. God. Oh my. Stop doing his voice. 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 Stop doing Awful. That was that, that was, you out? Oh, I would rather suck that other guy's dick for 15 <laughs> hours than ever. I can't even look at the screen. I'm making direct eye contact with you guys because that is that is the worst thing I've ever this seen. This horrifies me. Awful. Absolutely Absolutely awful. No. What is going on? Oh, and the sound of it! The sound of it! He's bloodletting. I guess he poked a hole on the guy's forehead. It's not and he's 14, 12. We I have know. ibuprofen. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's bloodletting, but yeah, that's a form of bloodletting. And and you guys are just fucking square. So which well, like videos this? would you rather watch, mine or hers? Yeah. Like Mariah Carey highlights, <laughs> you know, like some high notes from Mariah. Oh, that's not here. Maybe no, like that's Mariah not notes. Show. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I am no tired. <laughs> I wish I could get a picture and show you what I can see over there. I don't know if it's show or not. Oh, shit. I don't think it does. Because i got to be so close. Fuck. For you to get the whole thing. Yeah. And then it's hard to be in the right place. Just. <laughs> at the right time. <laughs> I will say there is, you know, the benefit... <laughs> Of um, like I grew up with AOL and stuff like that, right? Like I learned the decorum, like the sort of social grace <laughs> of the internet. Like there's a little more, yes. You know, this seems like someone who missed all of it. Oh, oh yeah, they did. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they I just it. got their iPhone yesterday, yeah. and now it. it's just mayhem. This dude it's is just so true. It's every day he's posting this shit over and over, where he's like, "Hey, I'm a <laughs> long day." And I don't want to work out, but I'm gonna. And this is like, what straight guys do to try to get ladies. Yeah, yeah. This guy's just really. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, trying yeah. to court ladies because he's always flexing and like. He's also mm. in his seventies. Yeah, he's like so. I'm gonna oh, work out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he looks um, great. But I like your idea, Mateo. There should be an intermediate phone that you get for boomers. And some Gen Xers, <laughs> like where yeah, it, and you some millennials. Yeah, you don't get full access. Right. To like TikTok, you get like TikTok. It should be light. like Duolingo. You have to yeah. unlock each level. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> ba -ding, yeah. Ba -ding, ba -ding. And then we'll allow you to put it on TikTok. La dona escribe no like okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's David Gold. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my God, what is wrong with Shit. <laughs> what is wrong with straight people? I know. We didn't have rights for years, and you guys have competitions with this. Is that I Joe know. Rogan behind him? <laughs> <laughs> 
That is such a, and this like, is such a vicious thing that has exploded in popularity. So what, just hitting each other with flour? Sla it's slap fighting. No, that's, that's like chalk. On but I feel like I saw the result already, like sizing so these gay. two up. I thought it was flour. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was flour yeah, too. Flour. <laughs> um, but I knew. baking and whoever doesn't bake the best bread <laughs> has to slap take, the yeah. shit up. But don't you feel like you knew the outcome of that one? Like that guy's so much bigger than that well, guy. Yeah, I mean, they yeah. Have, they have yeah. brain damage from this. That's the outcome. The <laughs> outcome it. is that they're I could both watch this. fucked up. No, I can yeah. watch this all day, but there has to be alcohol involved. If we could only add booze to this, this would be huge. No, it's I it's think, gotten. Is I think booze enough? is already involved. Yeah, oh. this is already Look huge, and this people are, they're, <laughs> you know, the fact that you don't get to like <laughs> die, like it's just stand there and take a shot. It's yeah. it's crazy to do to your brain. Yeah. I designed my own Christian activewear brand. Oh. My biggest <gasps> flex is representing Jesus in the gym. I <laughs> could watch hours. I know. <laughs> When I say hours of this, the he, because it fascinates me to like try like the amount of layers of insanity it took to get to this point, I am fascinated it's by so, it. Yeah. It's fascinated. So and even like my biggest flex is representing Jesus in the gym. You know? Because Jesus doesn't have enough representation yeah, for sure. But to her credit, she looks great. She so does whatever look good, but she also has psalms and fucking. But Jesus. Jesus is helping her become fuckable. Yeah, it's crazy. That's the saddest part. She's probably Proverbs. What is the Proverbs thirty-one twenty-five? I'd yeah. love to hear. Yeah, let's look that Jeez -er. up. Jesus. And Jesus said, "Thy squat <laughs> low." She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. Oh. Wow. What does that even mean? I don't know. Isn't that, is, that a, know. is that a Beyonce lyric? I don't know. I mean, she's really proud of that one, you know? But I imagine if she sold this, like, so many crazy people would buy this For shit. sure. I'm here at the gym. I'm, <laughs> I'm here with the power of Christ. Now get off that machine. It's my turn. It's own, the own network. <laughs> um, oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, this stuff I love. Yeah. Like, you better fucking work, bull. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool as shit, right? It's like Pokemon fights in real life. Yeah. That's pretty dope, right, Yeah, Tom? I, love, I love the nature ones. Nature's rad. Nature's cool. Oh, God, the sound. So, this one's cool. <laughs> I found these talks of, like, Russian dental work. Oh. Damn, I'm putting this back on so I don't have to look at that again. <laughs> yeah, back to the lion. Yeah, I think dentistry is fascinating. I mean, you guys don't find that interesting that like, you can just scrape off all Do that shit. You know, I've shit? never had a cavity. Knock on wood. Never. No. Had. no. Congrats. What's your, oh, let me ask you this before we go. What's your favorite pasta dish? So there's two. Okay. And they're both in Rome. Okay. Not to really nerd out. It, one is in Trastevere at a place called Zi Umberto, and it's called Bucatina Madrishana. Mm -hmm. And it is guanciale, which is this part of the pig, sautéed in red sauce with pecorino romano cheese oh and God. bucatini. And the way they make it there, I mean, it. I go there four times a week when I'm in Rome. It's unbelievable. And then the other one would be Carbonara from Luciano, which is in Campo di Fiore in Rome. And this guy named Luciano... Uh, like perfected a, a specific kind of carbonara mm -hmm. and I would highly recommend those two places it, the best you can't wow. find real pasta in America yeah wow you got me I gotta go there just to got eat. me excited just to go eat if you guys go to Rome I will literally write you a list oh listen oh, great it's happening Thank you. dude I would love that uh, Matteo Lane's new YouTube special hair plugs and heartache is available <laughs> now you can get tickets to see him at MatteoLaneComedy.com. Matteo, the body lane, thank you for coming thank in you, today. Thanks, thanks so much for having me. I had such a good time. This was so Love much fun. You. And we'll bring you back, hopefully watch more horrifying stuff. Today. Yeah. <laughs> that bloodletting. <laughs> That's what got you. I can't Prego. believe it. I can't ciao, believe ciao. It.
that full episode of your mom's house are your jeans as high and tight as it can be i doubt it watch some more clips dude look at that one watch that one right here or maybe here maybe here maybe <laughs> maybe you should subscribe that way every time a new video gets posted you'll be notified stay in the know jeans subscribe now <laughs>